Malachim, Bruch and Bayim, Agatevach, and Fedach and Purim. Tonight is uh, it's Purim night and it's Motzei Shabbos. I'm still in my Shabbos clothes. I want to share with you the Dvar Torah for Purim. Sages say, Machai Avinish Lubsuna before Yad Loyada Ben Araham Lubaruch Mardachai. Sages tell us a person has to get it says besume, so we're besume we relate to it. Besume, like, like smelling spices. Rashi says biyayin that the person the shtaka biyayin, person should drink until he doesn't know between cursed is him and blessed is Mordechai. That's what the the sages say. It's Gemara Megillah Zayin on the base. The Megillah seven b. Sat merov s'chusi gemayim v'kolis olamayim devreyol. It's a Dvar Torah from the year Tuf Shin Yid Beis, 1962. It's a Sarach Bira I have to explain, what, what, what do our sages have in mind here, you know? To get crazy drunk is definitely forbidden by the Torah. So what's going on here? Nira, it seems like this. Hine Hamana Rasha, Gazar al Yisrael Shalayasku, Batera B'Mitzvah, Shavu al Ritzayin Bari, Baruch Hu What was the whole thing? Haman was a wicked person, Haman, as they say in English, Haman. He, he wanted to cause the Jews to sin. That was also a Malik. He wanted to cause us to sin, he wanted to defile us with all kinds of immorality. So, Haman didn't want us to learn Torah, he didn't want us to mitzvah. He wants us, God forbid, to violate the will of our blessed Creator. Haman. The very famous Gemara and Yuma, the Reish Lakish tells us that if a person repents, he returns to God out of love, his intentional sins are turned into merits as if he did good deeds. That's if you repent out of love. Rabbi Yochanan said if you repent out of fear, your intentional sins are considered as if they're accidental basically they're forgiven, but if you pen out of love, then it's considered as if they're good deeds. So therefore, when the Jewish people repent out of love, then all of their intentional sins will turn into mitzvahs, into merits, good deeds. And then Haman's plan is destroyed. He wanted to he wanted to send us to hell. Instead we're gonna turn back to God with love, so even all the bad things that we did will become good. We do Masha Perish Klishis Levi, Alamram, Zal the Sukas or Rishan the Khajman of Vaidash Ali De Simcha Zaikhanas is Chuvmiahava. The very famous Klishis Levi on Sukis, Levi Tsukman Saras Hashim Vidish of Sukhusiglani Kol Solomain. He said, it says in the book of Leviticus, chapter 23, it says, You should take for yourselves on the first day, uh, very, you know, pre hotter, a kapas tomorrow, a fruit from a good tree, and palm branches, one of its obvious, or nachal, and the willow branches, and the, and the, and the uh, myrtle branches. What do you mean the first day? It's the 15th day of the month, is, is Sukkis. What do you mean the first day? So the sages say, Rishon Hulu Cheshbon of This is the first day that sins are counting. So what does it mean? We're counting sins. What does it mean? From Yom Kippur until Sukkot, we could get away with anything? No. It says the Kedushas Levi, until El Roshon Yom Kippur, we're returning to God out of fear. So we don't want to count the sins. Because they just consider they're still sins. They're just kind of forgiven, like they're accidental. But then uh, Sukkot is a time of joy. Like Purim also time of joy. So then we return to God out of love. And Rish Lakish told us, when we return to God out of love, that our intentional sins are turned into good deeds. So that's why it means in Sukkot is the first day of counting of sins, that we count the sins because we say, look how many good deeds we now are going to have because the sins are going to turn into good deeds. It's so the same thing in Purim. So that's what it means that a person has to drink a little bit on Purim, Kadeshi or Sarah the Simcha, alright? Drink a little bit so you feel happy, we'll get close to God. 
כמו שכוסוב יין סמך לבנה יש. How do we know drinking makes a person happy? The Bible says so. In, 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 in Psalm 104, it says that wine gladdens the heart of man. That's what the Bible says. So that's where so then we have joy, then joy brings love of God, and we can return to God out of love. Then, there's no difference between cursed as Haman, who tried to make a sin, but his plan was full, because even no matter what we do, we're going to turn back to God out of love, and God's going to accept it. Because we did something good to bless us, Mordechai. Mordechai was was a holy tzaddik who taught the Jewish people the proper way, and he caused us to do to do mitzvahs and good deeds. The Hari al yedei tshuva miyahavi is hapchu averis shagaram hamen lazachis. Then the mitzvah shagaram al yedei Mordechai, because through returning to God out of love, then the sins that Haman caused will be turned into merits, and it will be like the mitzvahs that Mordechai, uh, that Mordechai uh, caused us to do. V'cholzeh al-yadeh b'sumun for you. And the Rebbe says that all of this is through uh, drinking on Purim. So, we should be worthy to really return to God out of love, and know that the love that God has for us, when we do that, then it's a tremendous miracle that actually no matter what we did, everything can be turned around to good. So we should be worthy. So, ach, tevich, has only good things. Nafelech, 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 nafelech,